Obviously, here's first and ten. Sticking to the air, it's Thompson Robinson. Airing this one out for Evans. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. And what a throw that was, Charlie. What's going on, guys? Welcome back for another Madden 24 Buccaneers franchise gameplay. Those of you are new to the channel, man, go ahead and do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. I post a lot of franchise gameplays here on the channel. I would hate for you guys to miss out on a single episode. But for those of you who have been following this Buccaneers franchise for a while now, we are now in week number 14, and it's rematch time, man. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, today's opponent, okay, shout out to Dorian Thompson Robinson for the throw power upgrade. Bro, check this man out. 93 throw power. He started at a 61 overall. He's now, I mean, technically he's only a 72 overall now, but with his morale boost, he's a 76 overall. My guy's come along great. But yeah, uh, back to like I was saying, man, week number 14, rivalry week. It's time to, it's time for redemption, man, pa basically, put it easily. Um, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, today's opponent is the Atlanta Falcons. Last time we saw the Falcons, it was earlier on in the season. I can't even remember what week it was. It might have been like week six or week seven, but... The Falcons were the last team to beat us, man. We've only lost to two teams on the season. We lost to the uh, Chicago Bears, and we lost to the Atlanta Falcons. That Atlanta Falcons one hurts a little bit more than the Bears because the Falcons are our, hold up, Devin Tompkins. Um, this is a guy I ended up signing in last week's, or last game up against the Panthers. I'm going to go deep threat on him. I'm, I signed him for one more year. I'm going to give him a little bit more of a chance to develop just to see what he's going to bring to the table. I mean, he's already got the 94 speed. You see him burn one-on-one -on -one coverage. He's a sleeper. Nobody really knows about him, man. I really haven't thrown the ball to him that, that often. So, I don't know. We're going to give Devin Topkins a chance to develop a little bit for us next year. But anyways, like I said, um, yeah, the, Eagle, the, the Falcons are the only other team to beat us this year. We're coming into this matchup flying high on a record of 10-2. and two. No pun intended when I said flying high. Falcons taking a little bit of a dip. They're seven and five, but the big—I mean, they're, the big deal is they're still in the playoff picture. I apologize for not showing you guys this in week 13 when the playoff picture was available. Don't know what I was thinking, but yeah, as you see, our Buccaneers have the number one seed. If playoffs were to end today or start today, we'd have that first round by, which I'm not too high up on. I mean, I don't know how to feel about it. I mean, in years past, I don't really play well with the first round by. But I'm not going to be upset that I have it. It is what it is. Um, but as you see, the Falcons are currently in the playoff picture right now at the sixth seed. If things were to start for them today, they'd be playing the Eagles. So, I don't know. Um, I feel pretty good about the way that the playoffs are shaped up for us. I play, feel uh, really good about the way the season is shaped up for us. I feel like um, this team can make some noise, man. We're hitting our stride right now. I believe we're on like a six-game winning streak. Let me check real quick. Yeah, we are on a six-game winning streak with our Buccaneers. I mean, things are going great right now at this point in time. And it can only get better. Um, last week's game, we ended up having a award winner in Mr. Dorian Thompson Robinson, who went crazy. 11 of 17, 268 yards, passing, three touchdowns, zero interceptions, what I love to see. Ended up taking three sacks, but he also did have three carries for 21 yards and one rushing touchdown. Dorian Thompson Robinson, I've said it all year long. This dude's just goaded, man. He's different. Anyways, um, looking at today's opponent, the Atlanta Falcons, we know Kyler Murray. He's been very efficient with Kyler Murray. My guy does not take too many risks with him. He did a lot of check downs with the, uh, against us. So game plan going in, we're playing some hard flats. I'm going to set my zone drops for those hard flats at zero. I want them coming down, playing anything short because dude killed me in the short passing game last week or last time we played running game <laughs> uh B. John robinson man he's got his abilities unlocked he's got jukebox he's got balance beam he's got short out elite so i mean really those hard flats are going to come in clutch and key i'm going to be using uh, ryan neal a lot i'm going to be using levante david a lot and really i'm going to have to be basically be playing those texas routes with levante uh with um that he's going to be running with B. John Robinson. And I just got to be key and keep my eyes out for those flat routes. Actually, I don't even know why I'm looking at the stats for his season. What I really need to be looking at is what he did to, did to me 
in the game that we face up against them. I just want to look at the Falcons, what the Falcons did. Two touchdowns and one interception for Kyler Murray, so we did force him into a turnover. By the way, my defense is topping, like, forcing turnovers. We're top three in the league forcing turnovers. B. John Robinson went for 124 yards and three touchdowns. We could not allow that to happen. Um, B. John Robinson had eight catches for 98 yards. So you get the gist. Like I said, him and Kyle Pitts were the ones that really just murdered my soul and Drake London got a touchdown but I don't off for some BS fumble of Trey Palmer by the way probably not going to be returning the ball too much with Trey Palmer I might give him one or two here but we're going to be starting making sure that DTR got the ball in his hands we can't afford to have him without the ball like no fluky stuff is going to be happening um sacks Jeff Okuda is the only one to sack uh, Thompson Robinson and Jesse Bates and Troy Anderson's were the only ones to intercept it. So, enough with the scouting, man. Let's go ahead and get to the game and then draw one of our two losses of the season. EA Sports coverage of the National Football it's week 14 and we have a highly anticipated NFC South matchup for you today. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are looking to avenge a loss they suffered to the Atlanta Falcons back in week number seven. Last time when these two teams matched up, Bijan Robinson literally did whatever he wanted back in Tampa. He could do no wrong in the run game and the passing game. This go around, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense is going to look to slow him down. First down and 10, uh, Kyler Murray drops back to throw, ends up hitting his tight end Hollins on a nice little bubble route. That goes for a first down up to the 34-yard line. Murray back in the shotgun formation again on first down, taking a shot for Kyle Pitts, and he has him. Kyle Pitts breaking a tackle across the 40-yard line, fighting his way down inside the 20, finally brought down at the 19-yard line there by D. De Delaney. First and 10 inside the red zone for Kyler Murray. He hands the ball off to Bijan Robinson. Robinson breaks the tackle there, stumbles forward down to the 14-yard line. It's going to be second down to five for Kyler Murray and this Falcons unit. Already inside the red zone, looking to put up a touchdown on the board. Murray taking a shot and the hole in the double coverage there. Lucky for Kyler Murray, that ball falls incomplete. It's now third down to five, a chance for the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers to get off the field. Handoff goes to Bijan Robinson, and he does not have the first First down, he's going to be stopped just a yard shy. Fourth down and one. The Falcons elect to keep the offense on the field. They're going to go for it. Handoff goes to Bijan Robinson, but he's met in the backfield quickly there by Jamel Dean. It's going to be a turnover on down. What a stand there by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense. Now let's see what the offense can do. And, oh, we're headed in the wrong direction as DTR ends up taking a sack, losing nine yards on the play. Second down and 19. Try to run the read option there. Just not much available, uh, available for him on the ground. Third down to 19. Thompson. Robinson throwing from his own end zone ends up connecting with his tight end Kate Odd and gets up to the nine yard line but it's still 12 yards short and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers go three and out on their first offensive possession of the day and are going to punt this ball right back to the Falcons and they're going to get pretty decent starting field position from their own 49 yard line for drive number two let's see if our defense can do it again man just whenever our defense does get these stops our offense has got to do a better job man we cannot continue to move in the wrong direction to start the drive off Second down and two handoff goes to Bijan Robinson and Vita Veda is able to get him wrapped up before he's able to pick up the first down. Third down and one for Kyler Murray has all the time in the world. Ends up finding his receiver Scotty Miller wide open on that drag route. Has the Falcons first down to the 38 yard line. Murray drops back to throw here on first down, leaving the pocket to his right. Throwing on the run just simply got rid of that one as he had Shaquille Barrett breathing down his neck. Second down for the Falcons and Kyler Murray as they look for the first points of this game. Murray he checks this one down to Hollins underneath, has the first down, and oh man, Hollins is just finding his way through this Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense without any issues as he's all the way down to the 24-yard line. Murray back to throw, ends up finding Bijan Robinson, who jukes his way out of bounds. Does he have the first down? Yes, he does. Gain of 10 yards to the 14-yard line inside the red zone yet again. Last time when the Falcons were down here, they had the chance for the field goal, but elected to go for it on fourth down and end up leaving with nothing. Let's see what what they do here this go around second down to five handoff goes to Bijan Robinson and he's into the end zone no problem at all completely untouched not a single Buccaneer was even close enough to sneeze on him and speaking of not even close young way Koo completely whiffed on that extra point field goal so this is just going to sit at a six point lead here for the Atlanta Falcons if our Buccaneers are able to put together something on their second drive of the day and get a touchdown and extra point 
Hey, we're we're winning, man. We're up one point. First down and ten. We're gonna start this drive out on the ground here with Sean Tucker. He goes four for a gain of three yards. At least we started this drive off going in the right direction. Second and seven. And oh, we spoke a little bit too soon as Dorian Thompson robs us going down yet again. His second sack of the day. Third down to sixteen. Needed a big conversion here. He goes for Mike Evans. He's got him. Mike Evans making the catch at the thirty. Brought down at the thirty-two yard line, keeping this drive alive for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. First down for Dorian Thompson Robinson has the time to take a shot deep downfield going for Mike Evans and He's got him again. Mike Evans had a step on the cornerback and man did Dorian Thompson Robinson lay that ball out there in the right spot for his big wide receiver to make a play on the ball First down inside the red zone as the Buccaneers look to take the lead and it's only right that this drive is finished off by the same man who started it Mike Evans finding his way into the end zone off of another beautiful throw there by Dorian Thompson Thompson Robinson and their extra point kick here is going to be up and just barely good there. McLaughlin, I believe he banked that one off of the right upright, but hey man, it went in. The Buccaneers now have a one point lead here early in the second quarter. Still a whole lot of football left to be played, and we got to figure out how to keep this guy, Bijan Robinson, bottled up for the remainder, remainder of this game. I mean, so far we've done a decent job. But, I mean, this is a tough task, man. It is a tough task to keep B. John Robinson, not only him, but also uh, Kyle Pitts and all these other star-studded receivers at bay. First down and 10 from the 35-yard line, and B. John Robinson is going down. Vita Vea waiting for him again, getting him behind the line of scrimmage for a two-yard loss on the play. Second down and 12 for Kyler Murray. Scanning the field, finds a wide-open Scotty Miller yet again. Sitting right in the middle of the zone, Scotty Miller has the first down for the Atlanta Falcons as he gets across the midfield mark to the 37-yard line, right back to Bijan Robinson, and why not? Hasn't had the best day so far, hasn't broken too many of those big runs, but hey, you got to keep the defense on and let them know that you are willing to run the ball, but at the same time, you can throw the ball because you have weapons like Drake London, who's going to take this simple drag route all the way into the end zone for another Falcons touchdown, giving them the lead right back. Let's see if Koo can get the extra point field goal this time. This time, a young way Koo has no problem kicking that one through the uprights and giving the Falcons a six-point lead in this game yet again. On well, that play right there where you saw Drake London score, that's kind of where you see like the catch-22 of the adjustment that I'm making on defense to hopefully slow down the passing attack of um, the Falcons. Last time when we played him, man, he literally killed me in the flat. So like I said in the pregame, I'm putting hard flats out there. I have my flat set at zero. Now, the problem is whenever you're running drag routes like that, not all drag routes run at that zero yards. I mean, they drag routes run at, like, basically five. Some even can run up, uh, up to ten yards, whatever. I've seen it happen off of some, like, fluky stuff. But that's just, like, the problem that I'm going to run into whenever I'm doing that situation as we end up connecting underneath there to Russell Gage. Balls on the ground. is going to be recovered by the Falcons. Flowers is off on the return. He's across the 30. He's going to be brought down there by Tristan at the 20-yard line. Oh, man, ball security has got to be on our for forefront, man. It was a problem that we uh, suffered last time when we played the Falcons. Trey Palmer was the guy who fumbled at the wrong time. Now this time it's Russell Gage, and the Falcons are back in business inside the red Red zone looking to make this a two score game. Handoff goes to Bijan Robinson. And oh man, again, Bijan Robinson finding the end zone for the second time today. And the second time, again, whenever he gets into the end zone, dude was just completely untouched. And now the Falcons have a 13 point lead. But back to what I was saying, man, I'm playing with my flats at zero yards right now just to try to limit the amount of checkdowns that Kyler Murray can hit. But whenever he's got like these slants or these drags coming from the other side of the field, man. I'm risking basically taking a cornerback out of the um, out of the play. I believe that was Jamel Dean I had in that flat, that hard flat there. If I had him in a, at a five yard hard flat or whatever, I mean he possibly makes that tackle on um, Drake London. And he doesn't go all the way uh, for the touchdown, but it is what it is, man. Just gotta take what. I can get and just try to do my best to adjust on the fly as we end up finding Mike Evans in the middle of the field and try to cut into this lead that the Falcons have before the halftime break. 17 seconds left to work with here from the 23-yard line. Thompson Robinson firing for the end zone. He ends up finding his running back Chase Edmonds on the streak route. What a beautiful pass there by Dorian Thompson Robinson. Literally everything about that play right there 
was just beautiful. The ball position was just in the right spot to protect his guy and allow him to do the rest of the work he had to to get into the end zone. And now the Falcons sit with just a six-point lead here with 13 seconds left. Just enough time for them to try to put together some kind of a drive and put more points up on the board. Or as I like to say, enough time for them to do something stupid and potentially get us right back into this game. There goes the first timeout for the Falcons now with eight seconds left, second nine and three. Murray drops back to throw, rolling out the pocket to his right, throwing on the run. And oh, Ryan Neal was in the area but was unable to make a play on the ball. Third down and three with three seconds left. Murray drops back to throw, but he's not going to be able to get rid of this one. That Shaquille Barrett hit him as he released that ball. And that one's going to fall innocently to the ground. And the Falcons are just going to go ahead and take their six-point lead into the halftime break. But, man, this Buccaneers offense is starting to cook and the defense is woken up. Can our offense start off hot here in the second half? Get us the lead right back here with the touchdown and the extra point. Still just a six-point game. First down and 10 from the 28-yard line for Dorian Thompson-Robinson with Russell Gage in motion. is faking the jet sweep. Has Kate Otten wide open in the middle of the field looking for the midfield mark, but he's going to be brought down just two yards shy at the 48-yard line. First down for Thompson Robinson and this T Tampa Bay Buccaneers unit setting up the screen here to Sean Tucker. Tucker with blockers out in front of him. Sean Tucker able to turn that simple screen game into a gain of eight yards up to the 44-yard line. Second down and two. Back to the shotgun formation. Putting the ball in the air yet again. But this time taking another shot for Kate Otten. Goes up high and comes down with it. Burgess was the cornerback in the area, but he could not keep up with Kate Otten there. Got mossed, and now the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have the ball inside the 10-yard line. Handoff, no. DTR keeps this one himself. Got tripped up behind the line of scrimmage. Ends up losing a couple yards on the play back to the 7-yard line. Second down on goal. Thompson Robinson scanning the field. Looking to go to the end zone for Mike Evans and let him a little bit too far there. That ball was just out of the reach of the six foot five giant. Third down and goal. Why not give the ball to the guy who got us down here in the first place and allow him to punch it into the end zone. Kate Iden does just that. Just the maestro himself, Cade Otten. Not a name that we rely on too heavily on in this Buccaneers offense. But I mean, whenever we need to, whenever we need someone to step up and take the pressure off of Mike Evans a little bit and make a couple plays here and there, best believe he is one of those names that's ready and willing to step up to help lead this team to victory by any means necessary. He plays his role well. Now the Buccaneers have a one-point lead here in the third quarter. Kyler Murray back in the shotgun formation with B. John Robinson to his left. He is connected with his receiver, Scotty Miller, has the first down as he's taking advantage of that little soft spot in between the hard flat that we still have set at five and the curl flat. First and ten here for Kyler Murray, this time attacking that exact same area that I just got done talking about, but this time he's attacking it with Kyle Pitts. Oh, this Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense is going to have to make some kind of changes because Kyler Murray is diagnosing what we're doing out here on defense, and he's doing a damn good job of it. Hand off to Bijan Robinson on first down here, but a great open field tackle there by Jamel Dean stops him at the line of scrimmage for no, for no yards gained on the play. Second down and 10 right back to Bijan Robinson, and Shaquille Barrett gets in on this stop man at the line of scrimmage. Third down and 10 here for the Falcons. We have them behind the, the on the sticks. Kyler Murray drops back to throw. He's dancing around to the, in the pocket to his left. Throwing, and that ball is going to go incomplete. Fourth down and 10 from the 48-yard line, and the defense held up strong, and it's going to force the Falcons to punt this ball away. Devin Tompkins here on the return. Gets this ball near the 25-yard line, brought down at the 23-yard line. A prime position here for our Buccaneers. We've already got the one-point lead. If we're able to get this one into the end, zone with the extra point that makes this a two-point conversion type of game and I like my eyes in the two-point conversion against the Falcons second down to eight handoff goes to Chase Edmonds Edmonds has the first down as he's juking his way forward to the 39 yard line for another Tampa Bay first down first and 10 play action fake here for Dorian Thompson Robinson throwing for Russell Gage but that ball is going to be intercepted the first mistake of the day made by the rookie Dorian Thompson Robinson Oh, man, and was it a costly one? You cannot make mistakes like this up against the Atlanta Falcons. They're just too good of a team, and honestly, man, 
they don't make too many mistakes and they don't miss on too many drives. It's very few drives when I've gone up against the Falcons and they have not gotten any points. And so far we've gotten two of them and each time we just failed to convert on our opportunities that were literally placed right in front of us, man. The Falcons have literally gifted us situations set here. You've already got the one point lead. Let me punt the ball back to you so you can go ahead and go up and make it a two score game or just make it a, uh, a, a multi-possession game, whatever. And we just are unable to do it, man. Third down to eight, our defense is holding strong yet again. Can they keep the Falcons out of the end zone? Murray throwing for Kyle Pitts, and he ends up finding him on the drag route, but Anthony Chelsea comes up and makes a nice hit. This time, they do not decide to go for it on fourth down and four. They will just go ahead and elect to kick the field goal there with Young Way Koo and go up two points. And okay, we're back in this, another situation where any score on our offense or by our offense will give us a lead. We just got to put together some type of drive here and get it done. First down and 10 from the 19-yard uh, line. Thompson Robinson fakes the handoff. No, he's going to keep it himself. Gets hit. Balls on the ground. It's going to be recovered by the Falcons. Jeff Okuda jumps on the loose ball and gives the ball right back to the Falcons, who are already sitting with a two-point lead. Handoff goes to Bijan Robinson. Robinson breaks the tackle there. And, oh, he's off to the races and into the end zone for the Atlanta Falcons. This has just literally been the tale of two stories, man. On one half, you have a team that's forcing the turnovers for uh, on oh, first forcing the turnovers on down. I should say because we haven't really forced any turnovers of the Falcons per se, and just the offense is just unable to convert on any of them. And then you have the other side where the turnovers are happening, and the offense is also converting on them. So just a horrible situation that we find ourselves in, and we're just unable to capitalize on anything in our favor. Now finding ourselves down nine points here in the fourth quarter with still a lot of time left, but we got to go, man. We got to go quickly. Honestly, quick, fast, and in a hurry is what my thought process is right now. Yeah, we still do have all three of our timeouts and five minutes to work with, Running the ball is not necessarily off the table as long as we're able to get huge chunk plays like we are right here by Sean Tucker. But yeah, man, we got to get things going as we're now creeping underneath the five minutes. We got to get this ball into the end zone and find a way to get another defensive stop. As Thompson Robinson is hit as he released, that ball is going to fall incomplete. Second down and 10 now from the 28-yard line. Thompson Robinson scanning the field, stepping up in the pocket, able to find a man wide open. It's going to be Russell Gage who fumbled on the last carry. Hold on to that one. First down and 10 inside the 20-yard line. Handoff. No, it's a play-action fake, but we're going to go right back to Sean Tucker, who tries to journal past the defender. Gets his ball inside the 5, brought down at the 4-yard line, but the clock is still on our side for the moment, but we got to make sure we get into the end zone. Oh, I really wanted to get in the end zone there on first down. We're going to go hurry up offense here from the four-yard line. It's still second down and goal. Thompson Robinson under center. Drops back to throw. Quickly checks this one down to the tight end. The flats has the reception brought down at the two-yard line for just a gain of two yards on the play. Under three minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Handoff goes to Sean Tucker. And he's able to punch that one into the end zone and help, this, help the Buccaneers knock this lead down from nine to just three. And we're still not out of the woods just yet, man. We still need a lot to go right in our favor. But this extra point there by McLaughlin will help out. And it's now it's just a two-point game. And if we're able to stop the Falcons from getting anything going on offense for a third time, I know, man, I'm asking a lot of my defense who's already stepped up and provided me with so much. Just the offense just cannot capitalize on any of it. First down and 10, quick throw in the flats to Bijan Robinson. is going to be complete. Ryan Neal was all over it, able to stop him before he's able to get anything going. Stops him for just a gain of three yards on the play. Second down and seven, completely blown coverage there by the Buccaneers. And Kyle Pitts is wide open, juking past defenders, high stepping his way up the sideline, but is going to be forced out of bounds at the two minute warning at the 44 yard line we cannot allow plays like that to happen if we want to get back in this game it's now second and 11 after the Buccaneers call their first time out uh, Murray drops back to throw rolling out of the pocket to his right hit as he released that ball by Yaya Dybe it brings up third down and 11 from the 45 yard line the Buccaneers can see the writing on the wall this is a chance for them to get off the field but Kyle Pitts continues to carve up this secondary Anthony Chelsea could not cover him at all and the big tight end finds his way for the first down to the 24 yard line 
Tyler Algier in there for his first carry of the day. Goes forward for a gain of two yards to the 22-yard line. Handoff goes to Bijan Robinson again. Bijan Robinson putting the team on his back and getting into the end zone for what is it? Touchdown number three on the day for him. Bijan Robinson just putting in work as per usual. He did the exact same thing to us last time when we played up against them. And he just continues to be one of the most difficult players to guard and just to deal with in general on this Falcons unit, man. You would think that it would be Kyle Pitts. Like, Kyle Pitts would be just a nightmare matchup, which he is. But when you've got to worry about loading the box up for a running back, it just hurts that much more. I mean, really, it should help out um, Kyle Pitts. But B. John Robinson literally does not care about anything. Apparently, neither does Dorian Thompson Robinson as we find ourselves down nine points again. But yet he says, you know what? Gunslinger mentality, man. We're going to get this ball down the field. And we're going to try to try again, man. We're going to try keep on trying until we can't try no more. Second down and 10 from the 49-yard line. Thompson Robinson drops back to throw. Scanning the field. Checks this one down underneath to Sean Tucker. Has the first down and skirts out of bounds. Still got tackled out of bounds. Add another 15 onto that one, man. Where's the referees at when you need them? Guess they don't want to uh, call anything down here in Atlanta. We're going to the end zone. You know what they can call, though, is a touchdown for Mike Evans as he goes up high and comes down with that one. And this Buccaneers team still has some fight in them man they're not out of this game just yet obviously we're gonna have to rely on the onside kick at this point as we find ourselves down two points yet again but hey this is Madden, man, and crazier things have happened. McLaughlin tries to line this one up for the onside kick and oh we're not gonna get it as the Falcons do recover and that's pretty much writing on the wall the Falcons really just need to come out in victory formation or just run this ball and they're going to be able to get out of this one with the victory pretty easily. Second out of 12 from the 46-yard line. Handoff goes to Bijan Robinson. And apparently our guys have all but give, or have completely given up now. The only person who hasn't given up is Bijan Robinson as he finds his way into the end zone for his fourth touchdown of the day. Just going to go ahead and add insult to injury at this point, man. There's just nothing that we can do to slow down Bijan Robinson, and he knows it, man. Now the Falcons have a 44 to 35 lead, another nine point lead. Let's see if Dorian Thompson Robinson is able to put something else together, man, on this drive. Put uh, put together another one to cut the lead right back to two points. First down and ten, stepping up in the pocket and let one fly deep downfield for Mike Evans and into double coverage. He does have double being activated, but that is the kryptonite to the ability. Second down and ten from the 21 yard line. Thompson Robinson taking another one deep downfield for Mike Evans. But this time, beautiful coverage, able to swat that ball away. It's third down and 10 from the 21-yard line. Man in motion is going to fake the jet sweep here, stepping up in the pocket and looking for Sean Tucker. But it's going to be intercepted by Burgess. And he's going to go ahead and fall down at the 35-yard line. And now the Atlanta Falcons have seen the writing on the wall. They will go ahead and bring Kyler Murray out in the victory formation and go ahead and get ready to walk out of here victorious. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe for more Buccaneers franchise gameplays. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.